Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So today I would like to continue lessons. Alright, you want to learn about material and the apparatus that you can find in your science lab. Sekolah rendah pun, I think you dah introduce dengan beberapa material and apparatus that you dah pernah guna. And then in form 1 pun, kita akan belajar lagi sekali. So, if you have a textbook with you guys, can you open to page 10? Alright, maka surat 10. Okay, now, kita pergi kepada the first apparatus and the function. At the end of the lesson, cikgu nak, bila cikgu cakap tentang apparatus tu, you must be able to uh, state the function of that apparatus. Ha. Itu yang cikgu nak. Okay? So now we go to the first one which is the boiling tube and a test tube. You can see tau, boiling tube dengan test tube, it almost the same. Alright, cuma bila you lukis, boiling tube is a bit larger compared to the test tube. Tapi cara nak lukis dia sama. Alright, function dia pun a bit sama except boiling tube is to heat small amount of chemical. Function dia is to, is to heat. Tapi kalau test tube, to hold. Tadi heat, this one, to hold small amount of chemicals. Okay, kita nak masukkan cecair ke apa ke chemicals ni, kita boleh masukkan ke dalam this. Tapi untuk hold is this one, but untuk heat, we use boiling tube. You cannot use test tube to heat it up. Okay, tak boleh pakai. Now, we go to the beaker. Alright, uh, this is how you draw a beaker. And then you have a conical flask. So this is how you draw a conical flask. And then here is a flat bottom flask. So kita ada three types of uh, container that can hold larger amount of chemical. Kalau tadi test tube, it can only hold a small amount of chemical. Only small amount. Tapi if beaker, if conical flask and a flat bottom flask you can hold a larger amount of chemical okay so now we go to the next apparatus which is measuring cylinder cylinder penyukat measuring cylinder is to measure volume of liquid jangan sesekali letak solid inside the measuring cylinder kalau solid you need to wait kita kena timbang tapi Kalau kita nak ukur, nak, kita nak measure the volume of the liquid, definitely you need to use a measuring cylinder. Okay, now, kita pergi kepada next apparatus which is burette. Okay, burette. Uh, it's like a pipe. Uh, dia ada macam pipe sikit dekat hujung ni. Function dia sama juga to measure a volume. Tapi, we use burette to measure volume of liquid accurately dengan lebih tepat. Okay, dengan lebih tepat. So now, we have uh, this one, pipette. Okay, pipette. Pipette is to measure volume, alright, but fix volume. Pipette ni dia dah ada dah siap-siap fix volume dia. Dia ada 5 ml, 10 ml, 20 ml, 50 ml, dia dah fix. So kalau kita nak measure a fixed volume of liquid, kita boleh pakai pipette. Kemudian, we have a tripod stand. Alright, tripod stand. Ha. So, this is the diagram of tripod, tripod stand. So, this is how you draw tripod stand. So, tripod stand is to support apparatus, alright, during heating. Ketika you, you ketika you nak panaskan sesuatu, ha, kita kena guna tripod stand untuk support. And then, on top of the tripod stand, kita kena letak wire gauze. So, this is how you draw wire gauze. You, you lukis X, 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 X saja. Function of wire gauze is to sap, is to, uh, sorry, is to spread heat. Okay, is to spread heat evenly during heating. Okay, to gas adalah to spread heat evenly during heating. Ketika kita nak panaskan sesuatu, wire gauze ni akan spread heat evenly. Bagi heat tu sekata. And then we have a filter funnel. Okay, the function of the filter funnel is to filter separate, uh, or is to filter or separate insoluble solids from mixture. Contoh kalau cikgu ada uh, pasir bercampur dengan air. So, cikgu nak asingkan pasir itu dengan water, I can use filter funnel. 
to filter tapis to separate untuk pisahkan insoluble solid iaitu pepejal yang tidak larut daripada mixture alright larutan and then we go to the last one is a gas jar gas jar ha nampak tak dia macam measuring cylinder juga tetapi bezanya measuring cylinder kita ada draw line dekat situ kan tapi kalau gas jar tak ada alright it's like this saja function dia is to contain gas untuk menyimpan gas bukan menyimpanlah untuk uh, contain untuk 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 isi gas Okay, so that is a function of a gas jar. Kemudian we go to the next page. Kita ada lagi dua apparatus. Alright, which is this one. Retort stand with clamp. Ha, ini retort stand, ini clamp dia. Pengepit dia. Function dia is to hold or support apparatus. And the last one apparatus that you learn is about evaporating dish. Di mana to evaporate excess solvent. Untuk menyejat Okay, untuk katalah kita letak cecair dalam ni Kita nak cecair tu bertukar jadi wap We can use evaporation dish So, itu sahaja Kita ada berapa eh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 14 apparatus and function that you need to remember So, kalau teacher tanya you What is the function of measuring cylinder? Hmm boleh jawab dah kan? Okay. So, itu saja untuk hari ini. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera.